Let's get started by installing React Native's helper tool, Create, create React Native App. So I think there's a, a tool called Create React App for normal React apps, and this one's just a little bit different because you add native. So I've already installed this on my machine. Go ahead and do it for yours. The next step is going to be using this tool to create a new project. And instead of awesome project, we're going to call this three things. So let's do that now. Create React Native App. Three things. Boom. OK. It's going to do a lot of things now and install some scripts with yarn. Great, it's done. Here's some really interesting commands to run. Um, yarn start just starts up the development server. Um, this is built off of this thing called Expo, I realized, and you can download an app on your phone to kind of experience the app without having to bundle it up and package it and all that stuff using Xcode. So that's pretty neat. It seems to have some limitations on iOS as of recently. Uh, the other option you can have is by using the simulator on your screen. So Yarn Run iOS will open up Xcode with the iOS simulator. Same thing with Android, but it requires Android build tools. I'm just going to be focusing on iOS today because I have an iOS phone. And, you know, certainly you could do Android too, but we're not going to. So we start by switching to the three things directory and then running Yarn Start. Let's do that. Away we go. Meanwhile, while this starts up, I'm going to open another tab and open up this project folder in Visual Studio Code. Woohoo. Inside this project folder, it's pretty straightforward. There And there aren't a ton of files, which I really like. Um, App.js, this is going to be um, a view with three groups of text and then uh, some styles, inline JavaScript styles. There's a test file if you want to write tests for Jest. We're not going to cover that right away, but uh, it can definitely beneficial if you want to TDD everything. And then that's honestly pretty much it. Everything is running now. And uh, to preview this, I'm going to press the letter, let's see, I to open up this app in my iOS simulator. So it's opened up Xcode and opened up the simulator for me. It's opening up the Expo app within my phone, fake phone. And now it's compiling the JavaScript bundle and sending it to the app. Okay, now we have those three text lines that we see in our code base. <clears throat> the really cool thing about this is that we can change text to be hello full stack fundamentals hit save and it refreshes right away that's super fast build time and cool developer experience for especially for an iOS app let's uh let's start some version control like good citizens and say initial commit that way we can keep track of our progress and y'all can follow along with GitHub. So the next episode, we're going to start customizing this to fit our sketch template, which is here, this wonderful sketch template. And uh, join me next time.